Using new groundbreaking technology, Dr. Catherine Walton and radiologist Elsie B. Kitching are performing radio surgery, except they're doing this from their offices in Port Elizabeth, while the patient is in Johannesburg, thousands of kilometers away. Uses fine cobalt beam radiation fields. Uh, they can use 190 rays that come through at a very fine um, um, source and that can then we are able to place the radiation at exactly the right position to be able to treat the tumor and protect the surrounding brain. The gamma radiation is delivered with the accuracy of less than one tenth of a millimeter or the thickness of a sheet of paper. She's had whole brain radiation. She's had maximum dose to her brain. And she's got these tumors that are continuous, continuing to grow on her brain. We couldn't possibly re-radiate her without causing severe side effects. The patient, who has four tumors in her brain, flew to Johannesburg to undergo this new treatment. What is incredible is that if we were to give whole brain radiation to this patient, she would become forgetful. She would, her personality would change because of the position of where these tumors are. Her intelligence would deteriorate. Her hair will fall out. Mill Park Hospital in Johannesburg is the only medical facility in the country that has gamma knife radio surgery equipment. As we, we plan the radiation, we check uh, what, what Mill Park physicists um, and staff have sent to us as a baseline. We plan it, we check it, and we send it back to them. And they then take that, they do the QAs, and they deliver the treatment. In the past, patients from Port Elizabeth would need to spend at least 10 days in Johannesburg, but this new technology reduced it to two days. The problem with that was the patients would have to see another oncologist and go through the whole process of seeing another doctor being assessed separately and then being after evaluated, being, having to come back and then go again for the actual treatment. Dr. Walton received her radio knife gamma surgery training in the US. She says the benefits thereof for quality of life and overall survival of the patient are enormous. Sandy McCowan, Port Elizabeth.